everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series. We review every single Capcom play system, CPS System Dash, CPS 2, and CPS 3 game ever made. And today we're taking a look at Varth. If last week's video where I said Chariot was an uninspired shmup, this week's video with Varth is one of the best shmups on the platform. Before we get too far involved, if you can be a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. But Varth is absolutely everything I want in a vertical shmup. I've loved the setting, I've loved the music, I've loved the graphics, I've loved the gameplay. There's nothing about Varth that I give the thumbs down to whatsoever. It may be my favorite shmup on the platform, and it is one that I don't really hear mentioned that much. I mean, I'm not the best in the world at shmups. Maybe this game is easy, maybe it's considered a B-tier game, you know, by shmup aficionados, but for me, I think it's absolutely outstanding. It's got everything I want in an arcade shmup, and it cuts out everything that I'm not really super interested in. But right off the top, I love the multi-plane look to the graphics. You know, it's kind of parallax scrolling, but it's moving vertically. We're on this elevated bridge, but we have all of that city underneath, and there's a great separation between the different environments. And I love that tank there that has basically a dozen different cannons on it. That's not the type of tank you would see in the real life. It's like a child's imagination, like, oh, a tank has one cannon, that's cool. What if we stuck 12 on them? And everything about this game just kind of feels like it has that same mechanic. You will see that we have those two floating orbs in front of us, and you're given an option at the beginning of the game, whether you just want them to be stationary or whether you're not, you want them to move and try to hit enemy projectiles. And each option feels entirely different. I feel really comfortable with them being right in front of me, but you can totally switch up how this game plays by having those orbs follow the projectiles around. I also love that basically this game just continues to play. There's no real big, you know, tally of your score at the end. You get like a 15 second pause and then you instantaneously move right into the next stage with no transitions whatsoever. It's 100% seamless. And you will see here that I pick up a laser weapon as well. The weapons in this game are all great. Some you're going to like more than others. I don't really love the laser weapon and I wish I had forgotten to pick it up. But you're going to learn very quickly what you like to use, what you don't like to use, what's more effective for certain areas. And you can really strategize and decide what you want to carry forward for your weaponry, and if you see something better, you might want to switch. If you see something you don't like come down the line, you may have to remember to leave it behind. And there's a lot of strategy involved in shmups with that, but I think in Varth it does a really good job of kind of making each weapon feel different and unique, and really giving you options on what you think would be the best case moving forward. And you'll see here, I'm playing the game on normal difficulty, but we're getting a decent amount of projectiles moving around. It's not, you know, three or four bullets on screen at once. It's more like, you know, one to two dozen. It's not reaching the level of bullet hell whatsoever, but it is getting difficult enough where I just took my first death there. But that's not too bad. I got to stage two. I would say that this game can become quite difficult as you ramp up the difficulty on the PCB settings, but that's what I really like about shmups is that once you get really good at playing it on easy or normal, you can start giving yourself more challenges. This on easy is something that definitely feels like you could one credit continue it, and I think I actually may try to do that in the future just for fun because I am looking for another game that I think I might actually be able to handle that 1cc on. But you'll see here, we move down to a completely different stage. The colors are changing, the music changes, we get new enemies, these gunboats down below. And Varth is constantly giving you something new to look at, to shoot at, to listen to, and to see. And that I really do appreciate about this game. I just always love vertical shmups. I would say that it's hard, you know, depending on what week you ask me, I might say that vertical shmups are my preferred genre. And if you ask me the next week, I might say horizontal shmups are my preferred genre. I just love shmups, even if I'm not great at them. It's the same thing with fighting games. I enjoy all of them, but I'm probably only good at a few of them. And it's the same with Varth. This is just one that I've always enjoyed playing. I played it in arcades the first time I checked it out. I really enjoyed it. And I've been coming back to it ever since. But I keep saying how great the soundtrack is. You should definitely listen to it. So enjoy Varth without me talking over it for about a minute. And I'll come back and try to continue to convince you into playing this game if you never have. But enjoy.
soundtrack in Varth is just absolutely outstanding. It's changes. Sometimes it's cheery. Sometimes it's dramatic. Sometimes it's melodramatic like we have right here. But each and every track is unique, and I love listening to them. This is the type of game that I would actually listen to the soundtrack to outside of playing it. And you'll see here we have taken our first continue, and we're six minutes into the gameplay because I have not made any cuts to this video. So often when I make these videos, I cut everything apart, try to keep everything flowing, try to keep it action-packed, but Varth from start to finish didn't require me to cut the video capture once, and that's the biggest testament I can say to the game. You're constantly moving forward. There's constantly something to do. You're constantly in the action. Not only does that make for a really easy editing job on my end, but from a gameplay perspective, it means that you're constantly doing something something and what you're doing is quite enjoyable. You get those, you know, 20 second breaks kind of in between bosses where you just get a little bit of a breather, but as soon as you get control of your ship again, you're right back in the middle of the action and it's not going to let up until you either give up or until you beat the game. And this to me, in some ways, kind of feels like Merc. It feels like the shmup version of Merc. You're moving forward, it's a run and gun, except it's a shmup. These games could definitely be siblings, even though they're not. But again, it's just another amazing Capcom play system game. I like to even get Ryu coming in with a Hadouken there as a power up. There's little tiny things hidden in this game that are just spectacular, but even the small details, you can see some of that farmland in the bottom there. You can see what looks like roads or trails or little rock walls they've hidden so much nice detail in the game that there's just something obvious to look at i also like that it might be a vertical shmup but sometimes you're moving horizontally sometimes the stage is moving backwards sometimes it's moving forwards it's not just constantly going into the screen it's going to give you different options depending on what you want and you'll see here I am dumping all of my special weapons out. There's definitely some mechanics in here where saving onto those is going to make it easier for bosses. I only ever use them during gameplay if I need to clear the screen of bullets because I know I'm going to take a death and I don't want to. But otherwise, if you can save your special attacks up for the bosses, it's going to make it a lot easier. But I love this. I don't even know what it is. It's two giant gun turrets on a wheel that just fly back and forth. I'm not sure why the, you know, opponent in this game would have built something like that. It kind of almost feels like the bosses in Super Mario World, the rhinos that just kind of move around on a rotatable platform, except they're gigantic gun turrets and not rhinos, obviously. But now that we've defeated them, we're going to get that little bit of a breather and we're going to move right on with the rest of the action. And this game is just so well paced that it is just I can't recommend it enough. If you've never heard of Varth, if you've heard of it but you haven't played it, if you like shmups whatsoever, you haven't played this in 10 years or so, do me a favor and play it this week and then leave me a comment and tell me what you think. But again, we've moved right on. Now we're over the open water. We're getting more ships coming in, more planes coming in, and we're even going to see a little bit more of the land coming up. And I do like just something like Raiden. You're able to scroll the screen left and right. You definitely want to be rocking back and forth to see what's coming up. You don't want to just stay in a straight line. You really got to move the screen, check to see what your best path forward is, and kind of see what different you know, projectiles are going to be coming up. Because those planes, they are coming from the left, and you need to worry about them. But at the same time, it's sending in planes from the right. So kind of undulating back and forth is going to give you an available path to be able to go through the game. And you will see there I got in a little bit of a trouble, so I just popped off one of my special bombs, and I'm able to move forward. But yeah, that's Varth. I can't recommend this game highly enough. Soundtrack, incredible. Graphics, incredible. Gameplay, incredible. Action, perfect. It's got everything I want in a shmup, and nothing less. Short of that, we will be back next Tuesday with another video in our Capcom Play series. We're getting real close to the System Dash games, and right after that, the CPS2 stuff's coming up. But if you have any questions or comments, I'll leave them down below. I love chatting with you guys. What I really want to know is, have you played Varth, and what do you think? Because I always love hearing your opinions on these games. And if you're one of the people that's going to say, I've never heard of this game before, now you have, and you 100% owe it to me to play it after the video. Short of that, if you can do me a huge favor, go down below and hit like, subscribe, and notification bell. Definitely helps us out, and we will have videos throughout the week as well but yeah varth 10 out of 10 awesome shmup i'll buy it as a pcb if i ever see it for cheap see you guys next time bye bye